Well, first, first of all, um, Malcolm, he wanted to have it both ways. He wanted to, on the one hand, claim that he's a Muslim, and then on the other hand, he wants to put Islam aside and claim to be a nationalist, that uh, his uh, view was black nationalism. And if he truly was a Muslim, then he would have known that that's not separate. That's not something separate, for he was already, a, a at one time, a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And he was uh, under a man who was in teaching us Islam and at the same time building a nation. And that's what nationalism is about. It is about nation building. And so, you know, Islam, it, it, it is uh, uh, a whole religion. It is, uh, it's just like with this, with America at one time uh, to be Christian and to be a patriot was the same thing. It's not so much so now, but um, when, when you say you are a Muslim, then you have to acknowledge the five pillars of faith. The second pillar of faith is that you must believe in all of the prophets and in all of their scriptures. If I just say I believe in Muhammad, but I don't believe in Jesus, if I, uh, that then even if I say I'm a Muslim, uh, that's a lie. I'm lying to you because the second pillar of faith is that you must believe in all of the prophets and in all of their scriptures. So likewise with Malcolm, he had left uh, one of the messengers of God, the very one who taught him that he acknowledged taught him Islam. And then he turned on him and still tried to say he was a Muslim. Muslim means one who submits. When you stop submitting to God's messenger, as he said, we sent no messenger, but that he should be obeyed. That's when Malcolm decided to go his own way since he stopped submitting to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Then he adopted this uh, philosophy the ballot or the bullet, which is sounds, sounds good and sounds like it's about something, but it's actually suicide. As to when a man does not know uh, how to take you into a bloodless revolution, then uh, to suggest to black people, you know, I've been in a war before. I, I, war is no game. It's not something you play with. You'd be surprised how quick all of the fight got to go out of you when you start seeing your, your friends laying around dead, your, your, your wife, your, your children laying around in a pool of blood. You'd be surprised how quick you get tired of war. But the, the point is, Malcolm was teaching bloodbath teaching. And he only taught that when he left the man of God, which was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And to suggest that we was willing to go in to Vietnam and face uh, uh, 800 million uh, Chinese or, or whatnot. And uh, then say, well, we ought to be able to face these people here in America. You forgot. He forgot something. When you were sent to face the Chinese or the, the, the Oriental people in Vietnam or South Korea or North Korea or any of those or Japan, or any of them, when you were sent there, the one who sent you supplied you with your weapons too. You didn't take your own weapons there, you took weapons from the sender. Now do you suppose that your sender gonna give you weapons to fight him with? That's just foolish talk. You ain't got nothing to fight white people with. So you a fool to sit up talking about going to war with them. On that level. We wasn't put in slavery to learn how to fight like that. We was walking around in the, in the, in, in, uh, uh, even now you see our people over there on the continent of Africa walking around with a stick and running lions away. So it ain't about being brave. We already got some bravery. We need wisdom. That's what slavery was for. I'm not here to conduct a blood 
thirsty uh, 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 a bunch of people wanting to kill each other. I'm here to show you what a real bloodless revolution is. That's what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad called it. He said, we are not trying to overthrow the government. Just your ignorance. That is the revolution that needs to be worldwide. Overthrow the ignorance of the people and all the wars will stop. All the bloodshed will stop. All of the thievery will stop. All the lying will stop. Because when you are, when you are, uh, when you are possessed of wisdom, people can't lie to you and get away with it. So naturally the lying stops. So I want you to uh, uh, put, put these people aside as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said in the uh, message to the black man. And I will read it directly from him so that you will know that I, I'm not making this up. This is the man who taught Malcolm and he taught me what Islam is. And, and he, he uh, you know, you can't, you can't, on the one hand, say a man introduced you and taught you what something is and then ignore him when he tell you later when you turn on it that that's no longer what you are. So the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said this. He said, you cannot believe in one. Uh, let me see here. The belief in the messenger or the prophet of Allah is a belief in Allah. If you disbelieve in one, you disbelieve in both. In other words, if you disbelieve in the messenger of God, then who taught you of, of Allah, who taught you of God, then you disbelieve in God. He said, you cannot believe in one and disbelieve in the other. This is the knowledge the world has not realized. And this is what God wants the world to know. When God chooses his representative, for the people, he speaks to the people through that representative. And if the people will accept that representative, we call them prophets, apostles, or messengers, then they are accepting Allah. But if they reject him and still say they believe in Allah, they are considered enemies of Allah and disbelievers because that is Allah in that representative. And you cannot accept one without accepting the other. You have got to accept both and so when he when he did uh, the messenger like judas did uh jesus or like absalom did david then he stopped being a muslim a muslim the word muslim means one who submits how can you claim to be one who submits i mean it's not it's not so much as everybody on the planet if you want to say one who submits to Allah or to the truth, well, everybody's a Muslim because everything you're doing, there's a truth that governs what you are doing, even if it's murder. There's a truthful way to commit murder. So even the one who thinks he's not submitting to Allah is submitting to Allah in that sense. But that the, the name Muslim uh, don't is, is a name that would, was given to us by Abraham. And Abraham called his followers Muslims. He named us Muslims. Those who submitted and followed him, he called them Muslims. And that is what everyone is that submits and obeys a messenger of God. When they submit and obey him, they are Muslim. When they stop obeying the messenger of God, they are no longer Muslim. And so, you know, I, I wish we had time to really go into depth of this and entertain um, uh, intelligent arguments because non-Muslims cannot discuss what a Muslim is, just like a, a person in the medical field. You don't go and get a lay person and ask them to give their opinion on medicine. You get someone who uh, claims to be a, a physician or whatnot, and then when they argue, they will recite uh, the medical journals, the medical books, and they will say the book says this and the book says that. It's just like Malcolm telling you the, the bullet or the ballot. That's nowhere in the scripture. Muslims don't talk like that. That's, that's, that's uh, well, people, that's an, that's an uh, ignorant uh, um, 
position that is a position that a man has taken that he has not thought through. You don't tell people who don't have a history of, of war making. And the black man and woman of America have no history of making war. The, the Caucasian people are scientists at making war. Um, war is a science. And, and for you to think that you can uh, make war on a, on a man that um, all his history is, is knowing how to uh, strategically make war. That's foolish on your part. And it's, it's suicidal.